Patagonia was... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Patagonia was... Patagonia was magic. Pure and simple. I've said it before, but there's an energy to this place. It's the remoteness, the wild energy of the ever-changing winds and weather. It's the power of nature so evident everywhere you look. It's inspiring. And maybe the most incredible thing about Patagonia is that it seems to evolve right in front of you. I've been here four times over nine years now. Each time I come back, I see things differently. In fact, from day to day, I see new photos, new spots to explore, and new inspiration. It's an endlessly addictive destination. Almost all destinations seem to hit you with a quick burst of adrenaline, but the positive effects of Patagonia always seem to linger a little longer. It's rejuvenating. But alas, all good things must come to an end. So the other day, I said goodbye to Tom, Greg, and the participants, and I hopped on a flight to rejoin forces with Jody and head somewhere, well, a little bit warmer. So today, I'm here in a hotel on the island of Antigua in the Caribbean. It's about 27 degrees outside. It's mostly sunny. It's 100% beautiful. And it's so, so different than Patagonia. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm here for a conference that's like a five day conference. So there's probably gonna be two videos that come from Antigua. I'm um, doing some socializing, some networking, but definitely gonna get out and try to make some photos. I always say it, the hardest places in the world to photograph are the tropics. So I'm not good at photography on the tropics on the islands um, in the Caribbean. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. So I'm looking forward to getting out and shooting. So let, let's do that. I guess let's get out there and explore a bit. Antigua is everything I needed. I know, I know. It looks like I'm just running around the world having laughs and making pictures, but I haven't had a proper full day off in nearly two months. So sure, while I'm still running around making some photos, believe me, some rum has been drunk and some beach naps have gone down. Okay, so we're out with a group around sunset at a place called Shirley Heights, which is overlooking English Harbor. It's overcast and cloudy, and I don't think we're gonna get any light, but um, I'm gonna check it out anyway. It's always funny on these trips because everybody socializes and I'm always thinking about the photos. So I'm gonna go see if there's a photo here. Shirley Heights has views for days. Incredible vistas of English Harbor and the surrounding hills. You don't need to be a drone to feel on top of it all up here. The only problem is that Fido and I weren't the only ones up there trying to capture this sunset scene. We got a bit of a delicate situation going on and sorry about the music in the background, but it's a party. This is a tourist spot, obviously. So you have lots of tourists wanting to take photos and of course I'm getting in all their shots because the absolute best place to take this photo is up there. So I'm getting yelled at a little bit for being up at the best spot. Of course. It takes more than being yelled at to stop me from making an image. Now don't bother with the haters, cause they are the imitators. We will have manipulators, get it back up to you later. I like me. I'm compensating a little bit by coming back right at the wall and hopefully out of everybody's shot. And from here, I can use a bit of foreground because there's some nice like burn in the foreground and a crack. So yeah, it's a little bit distracting because there's some trees and stuff in the midground. But I do have a nice foreground. I do have I do have a composition, even though it's not ideal. Sometimes in travel photography, you gotta make a little bit of compromise here and there. What I wasn't compromising on though was the view. I'ma be what I'ma be. I like me for me. I am I mean, is there a better introduction to a place than this? Peace and serenity. No love to the jealousy. Wonder woman identity. The other thing I'm doing is using the long lens because we're right into backlight here. And when you use a long lens in a backlight, sometimes you get some really nice tones, you get some really nice shades of golden colors. 
So I'm using the 100 to 400 to reach all the way out in the landscape and just pull out some of the details and I think it's coming out really nice. It's just a matter of waiting now to see if uh, we get some, some light. There's a little bit of a break on the horizon. If the sun pops up under it, it could be phenomenal. Or it could be a bust. Just have to wait and see. From a light perspective, it never really popped. But with a four stop grad ND filter and a 30 second exposure, I managed to draw some drama from the skies regardless. Take it to the limit. Give everything you got to give, no matter how you spin it. We only get one life to live and the on these trips sometimes it's a little bit frustrating trying to make pictures just because there's a lot of other people trying to make pictures and then you're going to tourist spots on top of it yeah it was so busy I couldn't really shoot the shot I wanted to but I still think I made an image and Jody and I are now off exploring um, we've heard that there might be a donkey sanctuary here so that's gonna be the first spot and then hopefully we'll find some sort of I don't know maybe a harbor or a bay or something to photograph in, at sunset so let's cruise So who is this one? That looks like Angel. Angel? Mm -hmm. Woo, you like that? Oh, you want scratches, you're jealous. You want scratches? Scratches for everybody! It's fun here, there's uh, over a hundred donkeys and they're all rescued. They all have names, they have name tags. They're nice, they like the scratches. If you scratch them and you walk away, they eventually come back for more scratches. <laughs> They're cute. We're done at the donkey sanctuary. It was fun. I have to say that was a lot of fun. And they're beautiful animals. They're so sweet. They're a little bit jealous. Like you're scratching one and the other will come up and be like, no, you gotta scratch me. So yeah, if you come to Antigua, come to the donkey sanctuary, come say hi. After convincing Jody that it is not okay to kidnap a baby donkey, we hit the roads to explore a bit more of the island. We've kind of just been driving around the island exploring and it's such a beautiful place. There's lots of little cool beaches, lots to shoot and see. But we're here on a conference, so when you're on a conference you kind of got to do conference things. And one of the conference things is a dinner at 6 o'clock. And of course sunset is 6 o'clock. So um, I think we're in English Harbor a little bit early, a little bit before dinner's planned. So we're going to walk around and location scout and see if we can find something to photograph another day. Nelson's Dockyard is a UNESCO heritage site that's been around for over 300 years. During the British colonial era, this was a naval base. But today it's mostly a tourist attraction, and a spot for fancy people to park their fancy boats. Two things. First of all, if you're seeing Jody limping, she had like a really nasty infection in her foot and she's been how long have you been bedridden? Three weeks. So give her all the sympathy. Be sure to head over to her YouTube channel and check out what she's been up to. She hasn't been posting a lot because of this, but there's some stuff coming. Second thing, we're at um, Customs and Immigration. We're gonna leave, go back to Canada. Third thing, I guess, um, is this part of town's really cool, actually. It's obviously the old colonial town i guess now they use it for immigration when fancy people come in on yachts or stuff like that and it's quiet dead quiet down here and to be honest 
Doesn't look like the best photo location, so I don't feel like I'm gonna be missing anything. So after an easy evening on the harbor, I got up early to finally photograph a location I've been dying to take pictures of. Uh, it's 4.30 in the morning and I'm tired, but I wanted to get up early and photograph this spot called the Devil's Bridge. And I wanted to get here early because, well, sunrises happen really, really fast when you're in the Caribbean. When you're this close to the equator, it goes from blue light to sunrise in like 20, 30 minutes. So you really don't have a whole lot of time to location scout and I've never been here. I stumbled out to a little bit of sea drama and all sorts of photo potential. So come out to the Devil's Bridge, which is right there. And it's a little bit stormy. It's definitely cloudy. I don't think there's gonna be any light, but wow, this is such a cool location. Basically, it's stormy out at sea right now. There's some pretty big swell coming in and just smashing into these rocks here. And I guess this happens a lot because there's an overhang on the cliff wall. Part of the destruction of the sea has created this landform under here where the crashing waves just keep hitting the bottom and eroding the bottom of this cliff edge. And then the pop out of the water has created this bridge. A part of what makes this location so cool is also what's gonna make it a challenge to photograph because the waves just keep smashing up, the wind's coming from that direction, and it hits me right in the face. So it's gonna be a mission to keep the lens dry, but if I can get a photo of this, <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. And just before I was about to take the picture, those rains that were making the sea so cool, I've just hit hard. Hopefully it passes quick. So my fingers are still crossed, but it's not looking good right now. Ever an optimist? I waited for over an hour in the rain before finally giving up and heading home. I'm back at the hotel and it was a bit of a yeah, a bit of a frustrating morning. I always say there's no such thing as a wasted photography mission because you can always turn it into a location scouting mission. And it was such a cool location. And I do think that I will go back and shoot that location at some point. But the reason it was frustrating is because the hardest part about photographing the tropics, you know, beautiful Caribbean destinations like this, is they kind of lack the drama. They're almost too beautiful. And photography, especially landscape and nature photography, is kind of about drama, it's about mood, it's about atmosphere, and that's really hard to capture when things are so beautiful and so calm and so peaceful. And this morning, out of nowhere, there was that drama, there was that atmosphere, it was exciting, it was beautiful, it was perfect for a photo. I'm gonna show you the test shot I took. It's not a good photo, it was just kind of an image I snapped right before the rains came out. Came out. I have one more full video from here, and I think possibly on that video I'll go back and try to photograph that uh, location again at sunrise. And there's a fly on my nose. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.